everybody, it's JPT back here We're all on the Minecraft server, HorribleNight.com Minecraft server to be exact. And in today's episode, I'm going to build a little something special for that guy, because I tried to kill him the last time I recorded. But I am recording audio, I'm looking over here at the right, my little waveform is going wah 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 wah, so it's recording. And Fraps is recording just fine right here. And today I want to build, boosh, that, right there. Click, right there. Uh, it's pretty much where we're going to keep this guy because I feel bad about keeping him in this hunk of a mess of moss stone. So let's see here. Uh, as you can see, it is a circle. It is reminiscent of... Uh, let me get over here. This circle. This big circle. But it's much smaller. That's right. He can't... He, he couldn't live in this. I can barely live in this. It's almost too much room for me. I could probably live in something just like this and be okay with myself. But as you can see here, it's a little bit smaller. And it's a little bit of a raised platform. And it's right in the middle because symmetry is my friend. And as you can see here, I've already got this part of the frame built. And so today I want to kind of walk through how I go through building this stuff because, well, it's um, it's fun. So basically come out to here. It's really nice when you already get the other one done because you can just follow the path. One, two, three, and four wood planks thingy my bobs. Come over here, come over here, come over here. Up to that level. One, two, three, four. Now, what do you do when you need to get to this side? Well, guess what? Bam, there's a tray right there. <laughs> uh, it's like I planned it. Not really. I want to try to keep that tree there if I can, but I don't know. It might be in the way. Yeah. Sorry, Mother Nature. <laughs> ah. <laughs> We're building something. Oh, uh, boy. I'm in a good mood today, D despite it snowing like a banshee. No, what? No, nah. <laughs> why? <laughs> uh, I thought I had enough. I thought I had enough for the opening segment. Oh, are you kidding me? Oh, balls. Well, I got enough oak wood, but apparently I didn't have enough of the spruce. So let's go up real quick. But yeah, eventually I know I'm going to have to walk away from this... Uh, this whole design and that's that makes me sad that makes Jason a sad panda but that's okay that's okay ooh one thing i will show you now that i'm running all the way up here spruce right mm, i clicked on it <laughs> yes plenty of spruce all right excellent let's run up here real quick let me turn my sound down a little bit so I normally record at 35% volume, and it's at 50, and that makes a big difference. There we go. Because I normally don't wear headphones, and my speakers are crappy. If you know of a good set of speakers that are inexpensive, and that actually have a um, sort of headphone jack built into them, uh, at least one of the speakers, preferably the right one, I would really appreciate that. Okay, so I hung these here, pretty much reminiscent of how... Oh, God, the clouds... Pretty much reminiscent of kind of a design that would be natural to the tree itself. So, of course, these are the acacia trees. And I can actually tell which side I'm on based on the leaf color. Yay! And so when you walk across here, you got the big dark oak wood trees. And when you come down, blammo. These are cool because I kind of offset them a little bit. Like that. Plus, they're doubled up. And again, reminiscent of how the tops of those look, but you can't see them because, well, you got clouds. But that's okay. That is okay. Let's see here. I'm starting to get to the point where I feel like I need to start making more food, and so I'm going to do that. Plus, if we're going to have a welcome center, I'm going to make sure that it is fully stocked over there. I'm starting to get some ideas for it, but I'm not 100% about it. And then this morning, I thought about this whole thing right here. I was like, we're doing it. I'm recording this a little bit ahead of time. So I think this will get published on Wednesday. Wednesday, maybe. And I'm recording it on Sunday. So, all right. Um, let's see here. Oops, you can't craft out of that. Let's see. How many do I want? Let's just get, mm, let's get a full stack. Oops, got a little bit more than a full stack. Which is okay. And bam. Okay. 
And there's going to be a little bit of tweaking on this design as it is. Because what I'm going to do is actually, where's my oak get? Where's my oak get? There it is. I played around in creative, so I, I already know how to design this, which is really nice for me. Let's see, bam, bam. And the main reason why I'm putting these oak slabs in, I guess I didn't technically run out. I didn't have to run up there. It's because I'm going to have these stick out on the edge. So I'm going to have them stick out here, here, there, and there. I love the way this looks on the side. I'm not like blown away the way it looks here. And of course, when you design in creative, if you're like me, you have a super flat world. So you're not exactly sure how things are going to fit in the real world. I actually kind of like the fact that this is not going in like smoothly. There we go. Oh, I did not think I was going to get that. Let's go ahead and get rid of these now that we know exactly where things are going. Bam, bam. Let's see. Clickety click. And yes. Ooh, I shouldn't have done that because that's going to. Hmm. Let me, let me think of a way of doing this without having to cut things down. There we go. One, two, three. One, two. Let's get under here. There you go. And kablam. And kablamo. So I've been messing around with the rendering styles of these videos. Hopefully they look better. Hopefully they have a higher resolution for you. Blam, blam, blam. Because... What in the hellfire was that? That freaked me out. <laughs> okay. I don't like you either, Minecraft world. Uh, let's see. Imagine if you just thought of things this quickly and just built them like this. Wouldn't that be amazing? I do like going in creative, though. Kind of thought about doing a creative series, but that would be really boring because I'd have to, like, do a creative world for my creative world. You know what I mean? And I just don't know if uh, that's that's necessarily worth it. Okay, so, again, reminiscent of this, we're going to have um, stained glass on the outside. We're also going to have it where it goes across here. So, actually, what I need to do, I'm glad I did this first, so I need to go across like, sure, there we go. And then I'll need to eventually get up there as well. So let's go ahead and there's no easy way of doing this, is there? Nope. Let's just, uh, I don't want to mess with the natural sense of the world. There we go. Put that there. And like I said, this one here will also be, yes, I had to reference my world real quick. And we are going to run out of oak wood, aren't we not? Yes, we are indeed. Wow. This is a lot of wood. That's what she said. Oh, boy. Bam. And like, so, Sue, so what I think... Let's see. I don't have good reference images. I think I have glass going on this side here, but we'll just play that by ear. And if it doesn't look right, then I'll take care of it. <laughs> I'll show it who's boss. Yeah, so I think we're going to have to run and get some more oak. And I don't know if I actually have enough up in the chest. But as you can see here, I think what I'm going to do is I'm going to make a, like a bedding area here for the donkey. And then over here, kind of a food area, and then he can kind of hang out here. When I was doing it in creative, he kept jumping up all over this stuff. So I have a couple things that I will do to prevent him from doing that and um, et cetera, I guess. So there we go. Uh, let me go ahead and put a few more things down before I run up. Right here, I'm going to have gates. Wow, that grass grew fast. You're not going to stay there very long. I was smart and put this grass down, so we just have one more gla uh, glass, one more grass block. Basically, uh, if I'm not mistaken, donkeys will not walk through a one thing thing, one thing thing, 
a uh, they won't if this is open he won't walk through essentially plus um, I've already tested it to where if I jump on him here I can walk out with him and not hurt me or the donkey which is very important <laughs> it's very important let's see here uh, another thing that I've done is I've put a glowstone block here and I don't think it Eh, I'll have to experiment it, but I'm going to put a green glass block there, which I already have one here. And of course, I have now seven left over. Let's go ahead and build this. Bam. I've seen this done in a couple other worlds. I like it to the point where um, this will stay lit because I'm going to do a lighting design just like at the very top. But I'll do it up here. That'll be kind of the last thing I probably get to outside of moving the donkey himself over here. So let's see. So you get a little bit of an eye, an idea of what we're dealing with here. Let me go ahead and put some some glass in. So some of the glass blocks, like up there, let me go ahead and get those installed. I went with gray because um, the donkey, you know, the donkey color is gray. I thought I was being clever when I did that. Uh, so. There, there, there's that, I suppose. Just trying to make sure I know which one this is going on. And also, um, it just looked better. Although I don't know if it's going to look good when we... Um, oh, is it? These are so expensive. Yeah, there we go. But you get 16, but that don't mean anything. That don't mean anything. I speak of the good grammars. Bam, bam, bam. I love it when you have a solid block you can do this on. It kind of drives me crazy that you have to kind of like get real finicky with it on these. I'm really good. I'm really good. Jeez. I'm really good at placing these now because, oh, I don't know. I've placed this times two. So there's sort of a where you can kind of see out in the world still. I want to let enough light in to where you can uh, see things okay. We'll go ahead and replace these as well. These are a little bit more refined in terms of getting them up here because you have to do a little bit of Mad Daddy make you jump jumps. Crisscross reference. I think I've referenced Crisscross more than any other musical group in my Minecraft videos. I guess they made a much bigger impact on me than I imagined. There we go. But yes, it is, uh, ooh, that was a flicker of the lights. That is not good. Essentially, we're getting a lot of snow today. And I, this morning I went out and I, you know, swept the sidewalk. I was being a good neighbor. I went ahead and just did everybody's sidewalks. And I did uh, the good chunk of the parking lot because we live in an apartment complex. But sometimes they just don't get to it, in, you know, fast enough. At least according for me. Because I leave for work at 5.30 in the morning. Um, if, I'm figuring they probably don't get around to fixing that stuff until later, um, so it's kind of a it's kind of a big deal for me to get out there. Plus, I want to make sure if my wife's going to work or she has to uh, go somewhere that she can get out there safely. And if I'm doing it for her, I figured I might as well do it for the rest of the neighborhood, at least um, the row of townhouses that we live in. Oh my God! No! 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 No. What is this happening for? No. Oh, man. Oh, man. Yeah, yeah, yeah. You you follow me. You follow me long time. Oh, server lag. Server lag. No. Oh, my gosh. Why didn't you help me, dog? Oh, that was creepy as all get out. Where did he spawn from? Oh, that's not, that's, that's no bueno. That's no good. Oh my gosh. Where did you come from? What light is missing? You guys, I, I can handle. That creeper, not so much. Where did you come from? I'd have to go back and look at that footage. I'm, I've gotten so used to mobs not being in this world. Let's sleep. Oh my gosh, that freaked me out. I haven't been freaked out like that in a long time in this game. Ooh, I'm gonna have to figure out. Oh my gosh, 
It might be up here, actually. This might not be lit up enough. Hmm. I'm freaking out a little bit. Let me just go ahead and lay some torches down. Of course, they have to be symmetrical, because I'm weird like that. Oh, man. Freak a deek. Freakity deeky deeky deek deek. Oh, man. I'm freaking out about that still. Woo! All right. My heart's racing. It's going like this. Na -na 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 -na. <laughs> oh, let's see. Why am I using... Why am I using that iron axe? I've been using it this whole time. Let's go back down here. No creepers. No creepers. <sighs> You're still there? Good. It is a little bit shady under there. So those guys... Oh, there's the touch. Let's just use this guy. Actually, let me just use this. Plus, I know I'm going to need that a little bit later. Woo! Anyways, back to my story. Or back to talking about the snow. So basically what happened this morning is it started to snow. No problem, right? Started to snow, went outside, scraped everything. I like to keep up with it. Go out to the cars. Oh, wait. This is a... This is... This is oak. So it will be... That one. All right. I don't cut down the middle ones. I cut down the ones on the sides. And then kind of deal with the saplings falling at their own. Oh, yeah. So I'm going to probably need to do this off camera as well. A bunch for all my trees. So I want to get a healthy stock. So I keep up with it. But what happened is that it was it's supposed to get super cold tonight. Like negative 30 negative 40 wind chills like just bitterly cold well i didn't think it was actually going to get warm enough to rain despite what the forecast was telling me sometimes you just can't trust indiana weather because i live in indiana now you know all you stalkers can come try to find me i guess it's probably not that difficult anyways what happened was is that it got so warm that it started to rain and all the snow that had come down turned into slush so the entire parking lot is just a big slushy mess which means later tonight guess what the whole parking lot is going to freeze over and then of course if it keeps snowing like it's snowing now it's just going to be really bad outside which i'm not looking forward to i think this might be enough if not i'll make a cut and come back creeper creepers <laughs> i thought i had this place pretty well lit oh man Woo! Creepers, man. That that one of the one of the best additions to the game and one of the most terrorizing ones as well. I actually don't I actually don't mind Endermen as much as I hate creepers. They just freak me out. I guess I need to go get a cat or something. Put them up there. So that they stay away, I guess. I don't know if that's how they work. Uh, that's what the Minecraft wiki's for. All right, so let's put these down. So tonight might be interesting. If you if you don't hear from me, I probably slid off the road and died. That sounds awful, but it's possibly true. Uh, let's see, let's see. Woo! Yep, that's what I wanted to do. Exactly. Hmm. Uh, I was trying to do that without having to mess with anything. Still can. Perfection. Glad I kept that tree. Hmm. That's really freaking me out that that lighting is way different than it should be. Alright, still have glass, right? Yep, okay. So this glass goes up here as well. Because we still need to install our lights so oh man I need to go down here but it's good to know I can get up there real easily as long as I leave that stuff closed or open all right so let's see those can stack and let's go ahead and get our lamps and so if I'm thinking correctly our lamps will go there and right there there's a reason why they're so spread out. These are more for decorative purposes. They don't, I mean, they light up a, a little bit, but not, not necessarily enough. Okay, so we need to invert this daylight sensor because it knows it's daylight, but that just means it's going to turn the lights on. We need to make it so that it's 
uh, inverted for nighttime. So basically we run those there, we run those there. That's about as far as the redstone goes in my brain because, well, that's just my, the way my brain works. So basically when it becomes night, these will turn on, thus turning this on, and then that turning that on. Is there anything else I need to do up here? Yes. Before I close that off, I need to get rid of these. And put that one there and put that one there. Let's double check these on this side. Nope. Oh, see, I'm glad I checked. Always double check. So that one's good. That one's good. These are all good. It's all good, babies. All right. So I'm going to clean this up a little bit. Make a quick little edit. So it'll be minutes for me, but seconds for you. So I'll be right back. All right, I'm back. I'm back, and this is what we're dealing with now. Just to show you a little bit of the inside. It's roomy. It's roomy. I like the way it looks, but we're not done yet. Got some decorating to do. And apparently there's zombies down maybe underneath here. This is kind of like an empty space. I'll show you. Let's see. They might be down here. I don't know, though. Because all my sheep are down here. Yeah, they're in here somewhere. I'll find them and deal with them later. This was how I got my sheep down. To, And also how I got the grass to grow down to where I did. Because that was before I had silk touch. That was before I had all that. Oh, yeah. Oop, 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 oop. That was freaky deaky. All right, so I need to make some brown wool. Let's go ahead and make four of those. Of course, use cocoa beans to make that. Split those in two, and bam, you got yourself some caput. Some caput for your cas. Let me go ahead and grab this because rather than run inside and out, I can pretty much safely be in here and do my thing. It's my thing, and I'll do what I want to do. All right, so there we go. So I'm going to put carpet here and here, here and here, here and here, here and here. And then I'm also going to, let's see, I'm going to need some of these half slabbies. Uh, let's go ahead and double down on that, close that. And let's see, I'm going to put those here to pretty much make it so the donkey can't be crazy. Because I noticed he was jumping up here, which is a little weird. Maybe the zombies will just add a little bit of ambiance. For the bed, I'm going to go ahead and put down some of these hay bales. We need at least six, I think. Oh, let's we'll just make seven. What's it going to hurt? And put them down like a this. No! See, that seventh one did come in handy. There we go. So there is a little bit of a thing for him there. And let's see here. I'm gonna plant some seeds over here. What, what? I thought I moved that hoe over here. So we'll put that there. I'm gonna dig this hole right there. Go ahead and build myself a, you guessed it, a cauldron. If you didn't guess it, Try again. Next time you'll be you'll be alright. Put some water in it like that's for the and then he's got a little bit of hay, although I think what I want to do is I want to put it sideways. There we go. And get that back. Yeah, I hear them, but I do not see them. Where are you? I will find you and I will kill you. Okay, I think I think this might be it. I think this is it. <laughs> Outside of the zombie ambiance. Zombie ambiance. That might be the name of this episode. Yeah, I think that's it. Outside of maybe a few things here and there. Um, I think I did have things like this so that if I wanted to strap the fellow down with a lead, I could do so. Maybe even some signs later on and etc. So if I make any changes, you'll see them in the next episode. Um, yeah, I'll make this grow faster, but I'll have to go get some bone meal for that. But yeah, let's double check, make sure everything's safe. 
Yeah. They're definitely around somewhere. Oh, that's a zombie pigman. It sounds like. Where is he? Oh, thought we lost him for a second. Yeah, that's a zombie pigman. Hmm. Curious. I know there's one in my house. Maybe he got out somehow? Although that shouldn't happen. Come on. Come on, buddy. Oh. Very laggy. Come on. Come on in. The water's fine. Come on. There you go. Very nice. And you broke it, but now you're stuck. How you like it? <laughs> Not you, zombie. Shut up. You like it? Ah. Oh, you're such a good such a good mule. Here. Oops. How do you can you not feed them? Hmm. <laughs> I don't know. Oh, I did want to get some bone meal for this stuff down here. Oh well. But that's gonna do it. That's gonna do it for this episode. Let me see if I can get next to my mule here. There we go. Oh. You're gonna turn around? Yep. No. Yep. No, yeah, you're just gonna sniff around. That that's okay. Anyways, that's gonna do it for me, JPT here on the HorribleNight.com Minecraft server. Thanks for joining me today. Thanks for dealing with my freakouts and the uh, house up there. I'm going to have to find where those zombies are. And I'll be back with some other thing in the future. Some other thing. Whatever it is. Oh, here, I want to show you that I can get through here. No problems. No problemos. And there we go. See? And you can enter like, like a so. But if these are closed like that and you try to go through, nope, you can't do it. You can't do it. So kind of a safety precaution. Plus this guy, look, he's a he's a he's a good meal. He's got some uh, some health down here. Anyways, I'm rambling on and uh, I'll again be back in the future with some other crazy zaniness, maybe another future build here on the server. So until next time, this is JPT. Go play your games. I'll be seeing you. Hello. I like it. You like it, buddy? Yeah, that's a good boy. You wag your tail. <laughs>